So, Alan, hi. Hello. What attracted you to come all the way from down under Australia to Florida? You. Oh, no, no, no. That's not a good answer. This it's, is it's absolutely. A it's a combination. Okay. You and I had such a lovely connection when we met in uh, Taipei and Taiwan, 2009. And we've had a lovely ongoing, what do we call it? Over the fence, started with a martini. Over the, yeah, we in had. In honor of Harrison, who wasn't in Taiwan, so. Just to finish an evening going down Snake Alley, where we tucked into a little python. It was stewed. And then we found a late, late night bar, and we had a fine martini. As is, is the custom when you're an open space practitioner. So we've had this lovely ongoing connection, and when I heard that this lovely gathering was going to, or put it this way, it was going to be held in a wonderful place, two things appealed to me. One was to catch up with older friends, people whom I had, like you and Gail and Lisa, and others who I've met previously, Doug. Doug German is staying with me at the moment. So there was that opportunity. Another major factor in my own mind was to connect with young millennials. Because when you told me that in order to have the facility, the use of this facility, you'd arrange with the university to have some training in open space pra practice with bright sparks, uh, who would then have the training and come on and do the Wazanos itself. I thought, this is, there's something very magical going on. Because I'm a great believer that it's a combination of people in this modern era, put it this way, it might sound an old-fashioned term. Nonetheless, people have got a very different way of being in the world because the technology of connecting is so utterly different. When I tell people that TV, television did not arrive in my life until I was age 16, where it's, you know, it's unimaginable to young people now. But something rather sad happened as a consequence because we used to have a lot of entertainment in the home. Yeah. My mother was a wonderful pianist. My grandfather was a wonderful singer. So there's always something happening in people's homes. But well, once TV arrived, that virtually disappeared, which, you know, sad in its own way, and yet something else has replaced it. The way of connecting worldwide is just an amazing opportunity. Did you have the opportunity to engage in great conversations where there were multi-generations together, where you had a chance to just be equals in talking about important issues, which was really a major purpose in bringing the minds of different age groups together. Well, you see, that, that's what I have felt has been a deficit. Because to my way of thinking, there have not been the opportunities yet mm -hmm. for this exchange between what you might call an elder, and particularly those of us, and I include myself, having been an open space practitioner since 1994, suddenly a book landed on my desk. I had organized a meeting with a speaker, the speaker had withdrawn, so I thought, what on earth am I going to do? And then suddenly this book, Open Space Technology, a user's guide, mm -hmm. from somebody I can't even remember, it came from Canada. I read this book as fast as I could and had a go, and I was astonished by how people responded to the invitation to nominate what they thought was important and attract others to join with them. I'd never seen anything like it. So I make the point I've been hooked ever since. And at this event, I take it that that opportunity was happening for many young people together. Once I heard about that, I thought yes. this, this is something very special. Yes. And I believe that this will be the first university in the world that this kind of opportunity is presented. I really do. And I think, I don't know if you're like me, but what I discovered in terms of the depth, the worldliness, the passion, the desire to make a difference, their voices of the millennials with ours is just incredible. Beyond, yeah. beyond anything I could have conceived. No. And I do know that most of the students that came and recent graduates are all involved in community. They're active participants already on the issues. Mm. And, it was, and I know you remarked on that to Sharon Joy, who is now a combined friend of ours. But. Remarkable, absolutely astonishing. And to see their sense of commitment, and now 
with the opportunity of having exposure to the process because what we're looking at ev from now on is self-organizing in everything that we do. This group will have this remarkable opportunity to be some of the first cabs off the rank, to be able to take that into the world, know that they've got a lot of people behind them saying, go for it, mate. <laughs> Thank you, Alan. Thank you.